Hey you guys and thank you for watching my channel. It's your girl Shakenya, aka Shay, straight out of Miami Day in this uniform. Y'all know how it go. You know I told y'all every time y'all see me, y'all gonna see me in this uniform. But anyways, you guys, let's get straight into this story because this relationship that I was in was it was bad. Like it was bad. Like this nigga was stealing from me. He wrecked three of my cars. I had no idea he had a drug addiction. I didn't even know he was had mental problems. I didn't even know none of this shit. He was hearing shit. Not only was he hearing shit, but he tried to make, you know how when somebody crazy, but then they try to make you feel like you crazy, but you know fucking better. Like, yo, if I would have known, mind you, I've been knowing this guy for a very, you might want to say all, I don't want to say all my life, but all my school life. I've been knowing him, okay? We, um, I've been knowing him from elementary to middle to high and when we got older. And when we was younger, when he tried to talk to me, I ain't, I ain't budge because he's my brother's best friend. Now, um, usually when I'm talking to somebody, it takes me a minute before I introduce anybody to my kids, but he already knew my kids because he was basically part of the family he was always around came to the barbecue like my mom my grandmother and his mom worked at jackson memorial hospital you know at the same hospital and everything now the first four months until this relationship was everything when i say it was everything yo like come home getting back rubs bubble bath what i um you know like my little night dress or whatever i wanted to walk around the house everything was just laid out right there the kids was fed they was bathed he worked, he paid bills, like it was everything. Like I know ain't nothing perfect, but it was everything. And then one night you guys, we was up paying dominoes. I left my, I have to work. I work every day for y'all who know me knows that I work every day, if you've been following me. And um, I work every day. So one day they was all sitting up there playing dominoes. I think this happened around Christmas time. This part was around Christmas. They was playing dominoes. They was playing, you know, everybody was taking shots. Me, I knew my limit because I had to get up and go to work that next morning. This is the, around the time I was working 16 hours every day. So I barely was ever home. So, and then I'm pretty sure if something would have felt a little odd or off, my kids would have told me. So the first time something went down, this had to be before Christmas because he stole from me. And I had no idea he stole from me until he told me he stole from me. And then he wound up giving me half of the money back. He was like, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I was drinking so much. And he stole some money that I was supposed to use to get my kids Christmas stuff. So I'm going to debt that, that, that issue and be like, my kids ain't get much that year because he stole from me. He did, want, like I said, he did wind up giving me uh, some of the money back. And then like shortly after he stole from me, Cause me and him was talking i was telling him like listen i have kids and not only that i have one daughter i'm not trying to parade this guy this guy that guy. you if you a mom you know what i'm talking about you're not trying to parade different niggas in front of your kids all the time okay because the only other person that they knew was their dad besides him okay and I'm, I'm just not that type of person if i'm with you i'm gonna give you by three years after three years and you ain't been got your shit together you have to go period because i'm not just that person so shortly after that, like I realized that dude had a drinking problem. Like I had no idea. I don't know if he relapsed the day that we was all playing dominoes and well, I don't know how to play dominoes. I ain't gonna lie, I was playing Uno and I was fucking everybody up at the table. Okay, I was beating their ass at the table with them dominoes. I met with the um, Uno cards. So um, shortly after that, uh, he was trying to talk to me one night and. I kept brushing it off because I had to get some sleep because I knew for a fact I had to be up at 6 o'clock that morning and I wasn't coming back to 10 p.m. that night, my 16-hour shift. And sometimes, it depending on if the person don't relieve me in time, I wind up working 24 hours. And that's real, or 20 hours, and that's real. And I would never lie on that on my mama. Um, so, we, we, you know, uh, he was trying to talk to me. I wasn't paying him no attention, and I fucked around and went to sleep. Whatever alcohol I had in the cabinet, he fucked. I had five bottles. I had a big bottle of Ciroc. I had, um, what? I had, um, I, had, I know I had Ciroc. I know I had some vodka. I know I had, um, rum chata. And I know I had some. I had two other things. I can't remember everything because that was way back around Christmas time. 
And I didn't know that he was up all night drinking these things. And he fucked around. I don't know how people, like, I don't understand how he pass out and die. I'm sorry to say it like that, but I, you don't understand what type of bottles I bought. I didn't buy no little minister bottle. I bought them big ass bottles. I went to the fucking um, Walmart liquor store and I, yeah, it was the Walmart liquor. I went to the Walmart liquor store and I raked the fuck up on shit that I know for a fact that when my family come over and we chilling and we playing games and we taking shots for everybody who losing or whatever, I know that's how we play. And I know a lot of people chill and get down like that too. But like I was saying, um, he waited till I fell asleep and he wrecked. That's how he wound up wrecking my first car. He did do jail time or whatever the case it was. And then when he got out of jail, I didn't want him at the house then because I was confused. I don't understand like how somebody go from being the perfect everything to boy, me being in the relationship with you is like really like fucking my life up. Like it's causing me to keep spending money on shit that I already had. And I know for a fact I shouldn't keep buying the same shit over and over. Like y'all don't understand this nigga stole tools from me. I had bought, when I first bought the first car, he crashed. I have, because when you buy cars, you already know you got to go take it to go get a tune-up, oil change, whatever. So I bought the filter, the oil, and I knew I was going to be moving soon. So I bought two, so if anything go down, I'd be able to, you know, fix whatever I need to be fixed. For those of you people that, like, know about tools, like if you, someone that bought tools for an uncle, daddy, father, or whatever, you know that tools are not cheap unless you go into the dollar store or if you buying, like, some little whatnots here and there for like 90 something cents out of Walmart. I spent $200 on this tool set. Not only that, let's talk about the oil and the oil filter that I had paid for that I had sitting in my trunk. Cause I was like, okay, the day that I get off at two o'clock, I'm gonna go let somebody give me a tune up and I'm be good. Not only that, then he crashed my car. When I finally got down to, to, to see my car, when he got out, I asked him, I said, well, damn, what happened to all the stuff that I had that was in the trunk that I bought? Um, that I bought? I didn't know that he had sold the, all of this in one night now. I didn't know that he sold the motherfucking tools. Probably ain't even get much for it. Um, especially if you're selling it in the streets. Whoever bought it, they came up. They real deal came up. Then he sold the oil and stuff. So he was like, oh, he was trying to hurt me. Why? Like, you don't think that when you crashed my car that was hurt enough, but you want to steal from me? But anyways, okay, so the second time my car um, went me and cracked, it was like, oh, you was going to have to evict him. At that time, I ain't have no money because when he was locked up, I had went and bought me another car with whatever money I was saving to move. So I wind up buying me another fucking car. Everything was going smooth. Everything went back to normal. He was doing what he was supposed to do. It would never left my mind what he did the first time. I still wanted him gone, but at that moment, I didn't have no, because I think when you get somebody evicted, you have to pay for that shit. And I'm like, okay, my bills need to be paid. I just bought a car. I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not the type of person that'd be like, oh, let me put a portion on it. And then I'm gonna pay the rest. Like, I'm not that type of person. If you know me, you hang out with me, you chill with me. I'm very responsible when it comes to my bills. I always pay my bills on time. I do not like extensions. I do not like, um, cause I just feel like if you only pay part of your bill and you don't pay your bill, you get an extension. They're going to add a late fee on top of what you have to pay. And then not only you have that bill to pay, but you got the following month mixed with it and you have to pay it all off. I'm just, I'm not on that. I'm on that girl pay your bills on time or in advance. And I'm more like an advanced type person. I like to get my shits out of the way. I like to pay it in advance. If I can, if I feel like I ain't got nothing to do, if it's coming up to a holiday when I want to do for my kids, then I will work my ass off just so I can pay up my bills three months in advance. Three months in advance now. That way, every time I got paid, then on from there, I can just go ahead and get my kids whatever the fuck they want. I'm just that type of woman. So, everything was going fine. I finally moved to the next house, but my move to the next house was a fucking disaster. First of all, I went and got a U-Haul, right? The people was like, oh, you only need it for one day because I was going to get what I really need out of my old house and leave everything behind and start all over when I moved. So the day we were supposed to move, right? We got the U-Haul. I dropped a little bit of stuff off. And then I was putting, like, I'm the type of person, like, I like to put up stuff as I go because they was going to give me a few days, not even a few yeah, they were going to give me like five days to get my stuff out. 
So as I was putting stuff so it won't be so much on me, I was putting things up as I go, wiping things down. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person that if I'm moving from one house to the next, I shake shit out to make sure everything is, you know, I ain't traveling with nothing from one house to the next. That's just how I am. I'm a, I'm a bug free person. I don't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I have two small kids when shit drop on the floor, they like to pick it up. So, um, back to the U-Haul. So he was supposed to go to the store. He asked me if he could hold my phone. And I was like, yo, any other time I let this man hold my phone before he wasn't doing this, he started going through my phone. He would text my uncles, my cousins. He would text them thinking that, oh, they my niggas asking them why the fuck they calling me for. He was all in my Facebook um, shit trying to figure out like if people, I do hair. If y'all don't know me, I do hair and not only that, I take care of patients, okay? I've been doing security for 16 years, going on 17. And then um, I've been the certified nurse assistant for, um, I'm gonna say a good four, cause I started in, I'm gonna say a good four and a half, five years. And then I've been doing hair as long as I fucking can remember. So I constantly have people blowing me up. Hold on, you guys. I'm at, I'm at work. Give me a minute. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Before I start talking, let me go ahead and type this shit in real quick. Because I still want to be on track while I'm doing things. But um, that kind of threw me off. I don't even know where the hell I left off at. But I know that day was like, um, I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to give him my phone because of the shit that he was doing. And I'm like, I don't know what's the sort of change. But you know how, like... I, like, I'm the type of person that I don't like to go through niggas neither. If I'm going to be with you, I'm with you. I, I grew up with a woman and a man raising us, which is my grandmother and her husband raising us, okay? Whatever they went through, they went through, shit got cleared, and they've been married for a very fucking long time, okay? So, he goes to the store. I ain't giving him my phone. I'm like, the store is just right there, like... The fuck, as soon as you come out of our community and you go down a little bit, right here on the, like, we have stores all around us, okay, all around us, um, and I guess what he was looking for, he was looking for rap, okay, and what he was looking for, they didn't sell in our neighborhood, because we coming out of Fort Lauderdale, moving to Miramar, you understand what I'm saying, so, Right. We we live out, in, well, I live on the west side of Myanmar. Everybody know, ain't no cheap stores around there. If you want to um, purchase anything like rap or whatever, you got to take your ass to the hood, okay? Even if you go, um, like, in, a, in the nicer neighborhood, like, the rap that we usually buy and all that, how much it costs. Even if we wanted to get, like, a big box just so we can have a box of raps at the house already, we go by um, Hard Rock Casino, and um, like as you go like coming down on 441 on this side, they have like these trailer things that sell, you know, cases of cigarettes, boxes. So we buy our shit. I was buying my shit like that. If I if I know I smoke, I go get a so I won't have to be back and forth, back and forth to the store. Okay, I rather just buy a whole box of what I like and call it a day. So. I'm sitting up here waiting on him to come back, waiting on him to come back. And in my head, I'm like, please, God, please, I pray this man ain't crash these people. U-Haul, where is he? Because I was supposed to have that U-Haul back before, um, what dude told me? He said, have it back before 10. He told me to have it back before 10. Mind you, I had to drop this shit way back off to Fort Lauderdale. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm sitting up here waiting, waiting. In my head, I'm crying. Then before you know it, water started dripping down my eyes. Because all I'm thinking is, this nigga didn't fucking crash these people shit. Not only do I have to pay this, but I'm going to have to pay this too since this shit in my name. I'm steady. Try, I'm waiting. Mind you, he don't have a phone. So I'm steady waiting for him to call me. The first time, I'm like, yo, where you at? How the fuck you get from Miramar all the way to motherfucking Hialeah? Like, he was way off in Miami somewhere. And I'm like, how the f I'm confused. We have stores right here. Like, we could have bought what they had until we got back up there and Fort Lauderdale to drop the U-Haul off. And then we could have just, you know, raked up on the stuff that we know that we use when we're smoking. Oh, my God, you guys. Like, on everything, he kept calling. He kept calling. I kept asking him where he was. Then I was calling people phone back. It was like, ma'am, he been left me. Um, I tried to show him how to get back. He wasn't paying attention. He wouldn't sit long enough somewhere for somebody to show him how to get back. Then he wound way back up in Fort Lauderdale. Then he was in Hollywood. Like, he kept calling me from all over. Long story short, because I don't want to get it, because this video will be all day. Long story short, when I finally 
got the U-Haul. He was like, oh, the reason why you probably ain't come get me and da 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 is because you was probably with a nigga. A nigga, I'm home trying to put shit up. I've been waiting on you, money. When I said I had everything that I brought in that first walk, I put everything up. I wiped the house out before I put my shit in there. I shook shit out before I got my stuff, put my stuff in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just that type of person. I like to be clean. And this nigga went joy riding. That next day, when I, when I finally got a hold of him or whatever, I found him. It was like maybe like four or five o'clock in the morning when I finally got the U-Haul back. Then I had to fill that bitch up with gas and then continue to move my stuff. Some, I had called my homegirl. My homegirl was like, look, you can still hold a U-Haul, but you might have to pay a little more when you get back. I said, okay, but So when day broke, I got up, he got up, we jumped in the um, U-Haul, we went to the new, um, the old house to finish packing stuff and putting it on the truck. He was like, mind you, it was stuff that we had to move. My brother was nowhere in sight. He was at his girlfriend's house. I didn't even know his friend was in um, the back room laid up sleep with his girlfriend. Like, it was so much shit that I just did not know. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm looking for him so we can put my deep freezer on um, the truck and my washer and my dryer. Even though the new house that we have came with a washer and a dryer, I was like, still, if anything go wrong with them, because I bought this washer and dryer, I want to be able to take my shit with me and I don't have to buy because the, the washer and dryer that I had in my old house was new too. And I barely used it at the old house. I was just going to the wash house because I was trying to prevent my water bill from being so high. So I'm looking for him so he can help me put the stuff on the truck. Like, cause I can't do this shit by myself. If y'all who know me, I'm short as fuck. Um, I, <laughs> I my driving license sound five foot, but the only one just sound five one, okay? Cause I believe I'm like five one for two. I'm not gonna listen to that because that that was way back then. But um. So I'm looking for him. I'm like, damn, where he at? Because I was taking out the dishes that I wanted to take. Because I didn't take everything. I was taking out the dishes that I wanted. Then my dumb ass had all the food that was in my freezer. I took out. And I didn't have no regular ass freezer. I had a freezer that looked like a fridge. Hold on. I got another car. Damn. Okay. So, yeah. I was looking for, my, um, looking for him to help me. Child. First of all, when I went walking around the old house looking for him, he was nowhere to be found. He had left the back door open and he left. He left and went and got and, and went to go get hired. So I was stuck all that time trying to find somebody to help me put my shit on. When I said that I had left a lot of shit behind, some shit that I had wanted also because I had no help. Y'all don't understand the struggle because I had already dropped the kids off to the new house. I had already made the first meal of the new house or whatever and I told them I'll be back or whatever y'all just go ahead and eat keep my doors locked and I'll be back oh my god it was I I think I cried so much that day because I had no one no one to help me move my shit then when my cousin come by he was like why don't you ask um uh your brother friend I was gonna say his name but I'm gonna just not say names he was like why don't you just ask your brother friend to help you I'm like where is he he was like, he in the room laid up. <clears throat> so I'm like, the whole time, I, now I walk around my house loud, yelling, saying I need help. They in there laid out. You had to hear me, bro. You had to hear me because I had went by that area to make sure I get all my kids bikes, skateboard, like all my kids toys, like the two little ones, they toys. And when I said they had a lot of fucking toys, they had a lot of toys. I had wanted to go through that shit and throw some away, but I had wound up leaving all they fucking toys. I wound up leaving a pool table. I wound up leaving a lot of shit. I had a seven foot pool table for my kid. I wound up leaving so much shit, it wasn't even funny. So I'm like, all this time, and then my brother friend was catching the attitude, told me some, oh, your brother knew you had to move, bruh. But y'all be in my house all the time. Y'all always here, and girl, when I say I went through so much, the shit was crazy. Like, I don't want to even get into them. I, I, I want to keep talking about this toxic-ass relationship. So, mind you, he was gone, and he was sleeping in the streets for a week. 
a week and then out of nowhere he finally found his way because he was like oh i don't know that dress because we was just moving i don't know that dress i don't know this i don't know how to get back because he was high i don't know what the fuck he was high on but if you ask me the bitch probably was high on molly's he probably was high on crack and i know for a fact the motherfucker drink a lot i know i learned that when the money and my money and everything got stolen so at the time i was telling him listen i don't think it's a good idea you shouldn't really be around you need to go you just need to go and because he was getting mail at the house y'all know how that is you gotta evict him so i'm like fuck before i had more i made sure i had got an address an address change oh my god i was so pissed the fuck off like once again he back to normal doing what he's supposed to do so i'm letting my kids stay the night at their friend's house and i'm letting um all of them come back and stay the night at my house it was one day i was supposed to come pick my son up and i didn't get to do it because i had just did a 16 hour shift i knew i had to go back to sleep because i had to do another 16 hour shift so i'm like oh my god i'm tired my back hurting me if you don't mind please all the only thing i need for you to do is pick the kids up bring them back to the house don't just just stay put until it's time for me to get off and you come pick me up i'm sitting up here waiting and waiting and waiting hours pass by i'm still sitting at my job looking like a fucking stupid ass bitch okay so he pull up and the whole front end of my malibu is towed the fuck up bitch at this point i couldn't breathe like i was you don't understand i couldn't breathe i couldn't think straight i mean i was saying to myself if I had my gun on me, I probably would have shot his ass. And then when I get, I'm looking at him like, give me my fucking key. Mind you, I'm still around my job. I'm like, give me the fucking keys to my car. Mind my, my phone, dead, everything. I've been waiting on this nigga for hours. I'm like, where the fuck is this nigga? He, mind you, he ain't got no phone to call me. He's not at the house because I called um the kids from the post before I left. Oh my God, I'm waiting. When I say my car like that, bitch, I couldn't even breathe. I was out of breath. I was like, give me my fucking keys. He was like, get in my car. I'm like, get my motherfucking key. Y'all don't understand. And I was like, you know what? When people will stop and look back, cause where I work, I work in Weston. And everybody know, Weston is sadity as hell. You don't need to be making no loud noise, nowhere near. And I wasn't trying to get no jail time. So I got in the car. I'm like, take me home now. Yo, this nigga, instead of, cause like I said, we moved to Miramar out west. So we on the west side of Myanmar now. He decided to go all the way back to Sunrise. For everybody that know about Miami and for a lot of them, everybody knows Sunrise be, be the spot where everybody go to the greens to get drugs and all kind of shit like that. It's a smoke shop, all that. So he, he instead of him going the way that I know we should be going, he going the whole opposite way. I'm in the car, I can't breathe. My head is hurting me. I can't believe the front of my car look like this. And he steady saying, oh, you need to calm down. I don't even know why you acting like that. At least I put gas in your car. This is how I know that he was a fucking insane. Like I know you ain't trying to justify my shit being fucked up to, oh, uh, at least I put gas in the car. The car is full of gas, la, 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 la. So we get up there for a lot of them. He stopped by this wash house i don't um on top of the wash house is the school called beacon hill that i went to when i first got my certified nurse assistant um certificate and he he gets my he takes the key out of the car because i ain't gonna lie if his ass would have left the keys in the car i would have jumped in my shit and i would have hauled the fuck ass and go straight to the police department and let them know what the fuck was going on Mind you, there was nobody in front of the wash house or nothing for me to use their phone to let them know. Because, I, yes, I, I wanted to call the police. Call me whatever you want. Call me a snitch, bitch. I don't give a fuck. This dude is constantly doing shit that's making me spend money, unnecessary money I don't even need to spend. And then, when he couldn't find what he needed over there by the wash house, because this is a smoke shop right there on Sunrise, like if you go towards the beach. Where we lived at when we stayed in Fort Lauderdale, was we was like five minutes away from the beach. So we still was in like a pretty decent area or whatever. Um, we was past Andrews or whatever. The smoke shop is before Andrews. Where we lived at was past Andrews. Um, so he gets in the car. I'm like, take me fucking home now. If you don't, I swear to God, I will scream. I will holler rape. I will holler everything. If you don't fucking take me home. This nigga pulls up in front of another dope hole. But y'all who know Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale are known for greens. I think off of Sheridan. Is it Sheridan? Between Sheridan and Sterling, they also have green apartments there, too. If y'all grew up in the hood, a lot of people have auntie, cousins, friends, whatever, that live in the greens, okay? 
um, the green are like low income apartments. People be selling like stupid drugs up out of there. I don't even like being in that neighborhood, period. Like you won't catch me around that neighborhood. So I'm sitting up there, please get the fuck in the car. Get me out of this neighborhood. I'm in my uniform. I'm not trying to go to jail and take a picture in this uniform. Cause y'all know every time y'all see me, I'm in this fucking uniform. Cause I'm always working. So I'm like, get me out of this neighborhood. I'm crying. I'm begging him to get me out of this neighborhood. And then while we driving, bitch, uh, while we on our way to the crib, I'm like, bro, you need to get the fuck out and let me drive. This nigga decide that he was going to take out a crack in my face. In my, in my face while I'm in this uniform, he going to take out a mother while we was on the fucking 75 because we had to take 95 to 595 and jump on I-75, okay? This motherfucker decided after we jumped on, on 595, he decided he was going to pull out a whole motherfucking crack pipe in my face. In my face, now mind you, I'm crying. Please don't smoke that shit around me. Please, I don't want that shit smoked around me. Man, get me the fuck out of this car. Yo, in the back of my head, I wanted to whoop his ass. But I had to think to myself, is it really worth you dying too? Because y'all on I-75 and these cars are going real fast at this moment. And then back of my head, I'm like, I don't even know why the fuck is so many cars on the road anyways. Because we in quarantine. Man, when I said I had a nervous breakdown, like I'm... When he pulled that first thing, I just wanted to punch him in that hand that he had holding that motherfucking pipe up. And I want I wanted that shit to bust in his throat. That's how bad I was. Y'all don't understand. Like, I work too hard. Like, I don't like honestly, bro, I need a break. I don't need to be with no niggas because right now my kids is my everything. They are my world. They are my everything. And for him to do that, that shows just how much he kept. So I kept telling him, bro, you need to find somewhere to go. You need to go. I had it with your ass. Man, I must have cried. My head was hurting me. My body was tired because I worked. When I got home and my, my fucking head touched my pillow, I went straight to sleep because my body was just overwhelmed from everything. The being up for all the hours. I've been doing 16 hour shift all week long. Then he had me up in the motherfucking hood. The wretchedest part you could be in motherfucking Fort Lauderdale. Fucking he trying to get high or cop dope or whatever the fuck he trying to do, yo. And, and y'all don't understand like how this shit just broke me. This shit broke me, but I was so fucking tired. I dozed off and went to sleep. I, I, I couldn't argue. I couldn't fight. My body just said, bitch, if you don't lay down, you you go you go you gonna fall out. I, I mean, I felt like my I was just gonna hit the floor at this point because my body was so tired. I said, bro, when we get up, we gonna have a conversation because you cannot be here. You need to take all your shit and you need to go. I just moved to this neighborhood. When I say we in a nice ass neighborhood, we in an upscale neighborhood now. I just moved to this neighborhood. I don't need all type of police traffic. Let's handle this like man and woman. Pack your shit and get the fuck on, bitch. Because I'm sick of your motherfucking ass. Oh my God, bitch. I fucking fell asleep. And I was awoke out of my sleep because it was time for me to go back to work. I only had like four hours of sleep. When I got up, I got a phone call saying, hey, uh, cause this time my phone is charged, we home, so I can pick up the phone. Hey, I'm so sorry, the car not driving no more. What the fuck you mean the car not driving no more? You just got in an accident. This nigga, while I was asleep, he took the motherfucking car. He was in Miami Gardens. I don't know if he got in another car. I don't even know what the fuck happened. But the car decided it wasn't going to move no more. I kept begging him, please tell me where my car is so I can go get it. Or I can, um, hold on. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Like I said, I be at work, so I'm going to be a lot of in and out in this video. And I'm going to make this video long because y'all know I be working. So, But anyway, um, I'm begging him, where's my car so I can try to get a U-Haul. Not a U-Haul, but a tow truck to come pick my shit up. I'm like, where are you with my car? Just tell me. So I, he would not tell me for the life of me where my car was. Then I got a call from my grandma hours later. Because by this time, I already called the police. I already told the police what kind of car I was driving. I told them my tag. I told them the VIN number. I told them, I said, listen, 
when he had picked me up from work, I said my phone wasn't charged. I said, um, I told him every fucking step, every move he made, everything he made, everything he did that day. I told him how it's a possibility that he did a hit and run. I'm not sure because I wasn't with him. He won't tell me what happened. No, nothing. Then I get a phone call from my grandma hours later. Mind you, I'm waiting on the police still. She said, oh, Miami Gardens Police Department came um, by the house. They were trying to call you and they were saying that your car, because at this time I was already on the phone with the police reporting my shit stolen. Um, I didn't know where he was. I didn't know where he went. He won't tell me. He didn't tell me nothing. I was just telling him, keep an eye or an ear out for somebody in the car that's fr front rear end is messed up and is not moving. My grandma, my, I didn't know he was in Miami Gardens. I know I said earlier he was in Miami Gardens, but I did not know until the police told my grandma where my car was abandoned at. And I was like, oh my God, at this point, I'm trying to call a tow truck. And by the time I got there, they had already told my shit. So I was like, you know what? I can't with this shit. I can't with this shit. I got with my second oldest dad and told him, look, I need a car because I know he work on cars. And then he turned around and got me a fly ass car. Okay. I only had two more payments left on this car. This was something recent. I had finally got dude out of my house. I had the police at my house. I had dude family out my house. Cause you know, right now the police killing people. So the, um, when he finally made his way back to the house, which were days and days later, I had called his sister. I was like, look, your brother cannot be here. The police was like, oh, you will have to evict. Look, he can't be here. I don't want to keep calling the police out here. I just moved to the neighborhood. You know, when you move into neighborhoods like that, I don't know if people get together and be like, oh, yeah, da da da. I don't know how that shit go, but I sure didn't want nobody to vote me out this motherfucking neighborhood. I just got here. That's what I mean by upscale neighborhood, okay? So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, bro, why don't you just leave? Why are you trying to boycott living in my house? You're not wanting here. No one wants you here. Just leave. It took us forever to get him out. The police was telling me, oh, I have to evict him. But at the end, we wind up getting him out. I haven't heard or seen from him in a couple days. Then he started calling me, blowing up my phone. He was in some type of um, motherfucking... Um, homeless shelter and he was saying that they didn't feed him i'm like why the fuck are you calling me telling me this i have shit to replace that you fucked up i got so much shit to do right now click i just started hanging up on his ass every number he called me from i started blocking oh lord why the fuck i did that why i started doing that shit there i don't know if that pissed him off time 10 see where we stay at i have like a nice ass lake a nice ass view in my backyard and my kids are known for going on the back porch feeding the ducks. I told them stop feeding them incredible. Them, some some big ass ducks around my my neighborhood, okay? Them motherfuckers look like baby hawks walking around there. They knock on their your dough with they beat, and then you know they hungry. I'm like, stop feeding them ducks. Well, all the people in this neighborhood, let they ass feed them. Don't feed them damn ducks. Man, my kids fucked around and fed the motherfucking ducks. Must have left that slide door open. Everybody in the house was knocked out sleep mind you i got my new car everything i'm feeling good i'm getting back and forth two weeks i had this car two and no two and a half weeks i had this car hold on okay so i think i left out on the part where i said the kids was feeding the dogs and they must have fucked around and not okay so that day they must have fucked around and not locked that door that that side and glass door to the backyard because i got two sliding glass doors to the backyard one off the den and one off the living room so i'm sleep because like always your girl busting her ass to live in my neighborhood it's not cheap they want bands to live there okay and i just wanted my kids to grow up somewhere decent you know just let's have a decent life okay because that's what i want for them i fucking went to sleep everybody in my house was sleep this nigga must have came in through the slide door because before we had put him out, he saw that I had a car. And I guess that shit was eating him up. That it was so easy for me to get back on my feet. I guess that shit was really eating him up. This nigga, and to get to my room, you had to pass three rooms to get to my room. Because when you, when you walk up my steps, there's my two oldest son room, the bathroom, and the, the two babies room. And my brother was over there 
you know, and he must have fell asleep as well. Mind you, all of us upstairs sleep. You, when you get upstairs, you have to walk all the way down the hallway, all the way, to, like you damn near walking all the way to the other side of the house upstairs just to get to my room. All I know around seven or eight, cause I usually set my time for nine, 12. Around seven to eight, I got another phone call. Mind you, we all were sleep. We were not the fuck out. In order for him to get to my room, he had to pass all those rooms. And my brother was there. Usually, he can hear when the car pull up or back out. But this nigga was smart. This nigga, I usually, when I, I'm in my room, I hang my keys up on this nail that I had put in the wall. So every time I get ready to leave, boom, I could just off and go. I got a phone call. And I don't know why this time I jumped out of my sleep. But I jumped out of my sleep and my heart was already fucking hurt. My heart was already fucking fucked up right now. Like, I was breathing heavy because I'm like, oh my God, I hate when I, I jump out of my sleep like that because that shit does not feel good, period. If you know what I'm saying, you know, leave me a comment down below. And this motherfucker was like, I'm sorry, I should have never did that. I'm like, bro, why is you still calling me? Me and you not together. I been got your ass out of my house a while back. So why the fuck is you calling me? Bitch. This motherfucker said, I wrecked your car. I was like, I know you did, dumbass. He was like, no, your new car. I'm like, huh? Like, y'all don't understand where my mind went then. Because I took my, even though I went through my baby daddy to get the car, I took all the money that I had. I had nothing else. I even put, and I'm not an extension hoe. Like, I don't get extension on my bills. You feel me? I'm not even an extension hoe, and I had got an extension on a few of my bills just so I could have transportation to get back and forth to work. The police was like, can you come out? How? I just told you I just bled all my money into this motherfucking car. I put all my money. This motherfucker broke in my house, creeped up them stairs, bro, and took the keys to my car and wrecked my lab. Y'all don't understand. When I get paid this, um, I think it's going to be on Monday or Tuesday I get paid. I'm going to be back on track, but I'm going to still be without a car. I still had two more payments on this car. So, therefore, when I get paid the following time, my whole entire check is going on something that I, I can't enjoy. I can't nothing. And then when I finally called the people to try to get my car, they told me that shit was 700 or so. I don't have no more money. I don't have shit. Okay, the only thing I can afford to do is pay my fucking bills. I didn't have shit, so I was begging to pull out like, please. He broke in my house. He stole my car. I never, ever gave him or allowed him. You know what he told the police? Oh, it's a history of me wrecking her car before. Like, he was sitting up there lying. I said, sir, whatever you need me to do, I can do. He was like, can you try to get, get to me? I'm like, sir, right now, you're far from me. I have no money. I have no nothing. I ran. Like, you don't understand. All my money went into this car. I have nothing. The police was like, oh, we're going to come to you. We're going to, um... We're gonna let you sign the written um statement saying that if that's if this is the case and you're you you're telling us that he broke into your house, we're gonna come to you so you can sign the written statement. That way we'll put his ass in jail now. I said, okay. Gave him my address, I'm waiting. Then I got a phone number. What's your first name? What's your last name? What's your address? Once again, I'm talking to a whole different person. So the first time I must have been talking to the guy that was on the MLM. Because he told me my car was towed. Then the second time, it must have been the police. I'm like, listen, I'm still waiting on you guys. Please, somebody come on. I'm sitting up here. I got to be to work. I, you know what? I just called my job and called off. That's one thing I cannot stand. If you know me, if anybody know me, and you know I go hard for my kids, and you know I go hard for myself, I just, I'm just a hard black, a hard working black woman, period. And when you cause me to lose uh, work, we have a problem. We have a problem. You cause me to miss out on money? We have a problem. We most definitely have a problem. I'm sitting up here waiting, waiting. I didn't, they kept calling. They kept giving me a, When are y'all going to come so I can sign this written statement? I can't come to y'all. I'm broke. I have no money. I, they was like, can you Uber it with wet money? I just told you I spent my all. I even had to get extensions. And I'm not even an extension hoe. I get extension on my bills just so I can get this car. Officer, please, I need to sign this paper because I want him in jail. I get on the phone with a couple of my friends. 
I'm walking back and forth. I can't lay down and go to sleep. I'm pacing back and forth. I'm crying because I can't believe once a fucking game, this nigga had the opportunity to do this shit to me. And he came in on me while I was asleep. He, you was in my house while I was asleep. That mean you was standing over me, my nigga. You was standing over me while I was asleep. You had to pass my kids and my brother. That mean when you, you had to clutch my keys so it wouldn't make no noise. You had to put the car in, in um, what it is, neutral, so that bitch won't, um, so you won't hear it cranking up or whatever. He had to do all of this when he took off of my car because my brother would have heard that shit and we would have stopped his ass. We would have stopped him. Then, I ain't even done. I don't even think y'all ready for this shit. Like, I'm crying. I'm missing work. Everybody know me. I don't like to miss work. I like to do what I have to do for my kids and myself. I'm the type of person I don't like asking people for shit. I like to work hard and do what I need to do. Hold on, y'all. Front case security, how can I help you? Uh huh. You want to? Okay, you want me to let him in, give him authorization? No, I was just wondering that he that he come by. No, no one by Donnie Lee came by. Not since I've been on show. Okay, did you say the last time somebody came? Okay, no problem. I'll look it up for you right now. I'm going to tell you right now, view entries, I'm going to tell you what time. The last person came in was an Uber Eats, and his name was Gary. Okay. And that was around 7.23 p.m. Okay. I didn't, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay y'all, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so... They never showed up. I'm gonna just jump to this part. They never, the police never showed up. They never came to the house. So I wound up calling the police officer back after an hour. I was like, sir, I'm still waiting on y'all to come. They was like, oh, he was under the influence. So we wind up it, taking him to jail anyways. Bro, that mean y'all took him to jail with everything he had. I was trying to tell y'all a bug. Oh shit, bitch, hold on. Kill that hoe. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm scared of bugs. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my God, y'all took him to jail with everything he had on him. Sir, my house keys was on that fucking key thing. I get a couple of my employees helping me out getting back and forth to work. At this point, I'm like, man, I usually don't. I'm so used to getting up on my own, doing my own shit. I'm going to work an hour late, 45 minutes late. This is not me, cause that's cutting into my money and I still have to pay this guy two more payments for this car and I got motherfucking bills to pay. Okay, and I got motherfucking bills to pay. So a couple of days later, they must've let this bitch out. He called my phone, oh, I'm sorry. I'll Fuck you! We went together when you did what you did. What made you think you could call me and tell me some dumb shit? Stay away from me because you're going to cause me to hurt you. And I don't want to be away from my kids. Just please leave me alone. Go away. Don't ever come see me. No nothing. And the whole time I was saying to myself, wait. Now I hope they didn't give him back my keys. I pray they didn't give him back my keys. That night, I had another fellow uh, co-worker come take me to go to work. As soon as I reach, like, western area, my kids call me. So that means this motherfucker was watching me and my co-worker leave the house. Waited for a little while to see if we was going to come back. And this motherfucker tried to go in my house on while my kids was there. While my kids were there, and I thank God because I kept telling them, everybody lock everything up. Man, I went around everywhere. Ain't no way in hell you can get upstairs through the window because we in a two-story um, home. But I, everywhere downstairs, I made sure it was locked. I made sure it was locked. These motherfucking police officers give this bitch the keys, and this motherfucker stick the keys in the door and try to come up in my shit while my babies was in the house. Now, mind you, I'm here already reaching to work i'm panicking i'm saying shit 
Thankfully, my brother was there. My brother said he grabbed the motherfucking keys from him and said, bro, you can back the fuck up, up out of here. He backed up and oh my God. When I got home, this motherfucker was asleep in my backyard. In my backyard. Yo, I got me the biggest pot I fucking had. I don't worry. I I ain't do no shit like, cause I'm telling you, I don't need nothing to take me away from my children. Because at this point, the police was like, oh, well, he get mail here. They still hit me with this shit. And y'all gotta remember, I'm in debt right now because I didn't took all my money and bought this fucking car. I'm in debt right now. So I said, you know what, man? Fuck this shit. I'm finna do some green ass shit right now. And I wish a motherfucker would say something to me. They was like, Shay, keep calm. Keep calm. I'm telling you, I'm so happy that I didn't have my gun because I would have let some fire off in the goddamn ground and let him know, bitch, you got me fucked up. I know you ain't trying to sleep on my motherfucking back up. So I got the biggest motherfucking pot I can get. You hear me? And I filled that bitch up with cold water. Then on top of that, hold on, y'all. I got another car. Hold on. Have best night. You too, babe. I'm fine, babe. <clears throat> so, I filled that bitch up with cold water. No, that wasn't enough for me. I had put ice cubes in that bitch. I filled that motherfucker up and I got a big ass seafood pot. I carried that bitch. Slide, slid that door open first because he was sleep. He was good to sleep. I'm like, this son of a bitch think he can sleep on my motherfucking porch after he didn't fucking stole from me then wrecked three of my cars motherfucker you i can't stand him i want him to leave me alone and the fucking police get his bitch the keys to get back in my motherfucking house oh and you tried to come in my house on my motherfucking babies while i oh i just at this time i think i blew a motherfucking gasket in my head I slid that motherfucking slide though. I had that, it was heavy. Bitch, I ain't gonna lie, it was heavy. I don't know where I got that wheel from, but bitch, I pulled all that motherfucking ice cold water and I told that dirty ass motherfucker, you don't get your dirty ass up on my motherfucking porch. You nasty son of a, I just went off on him. I couldn't take it no more. Everything he said, I just, mm, I just tried to shrink his face. Just, if I could snatch his motherfucking face and lips off, bitch, I think I would've did it. My brother then were holding me back. I was like, y'all don't understand. And I don't want him here. I don't want him around me. I don't want him to breathe the same air I breathe. He need to go on somewhere. Man, I just got tired. I went in the house. I screwed the bottom part of that motherfucking broomstick off. And I hit the ground a couple of times. I say, motherfucker, if you don't get the hell from around my house, you think that ice water is something. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start welling on you and your motherfucking head if you don't get away from me. Leave me alone. I don't want you. I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want nothing. He left. He left. My brother them made him get his ass on up the street. They didn't even know he came back to sleep in the backyard when I got home that night. He was ass asleep. That means he was sleeping there all day in the backyard. Tell me, now let's fast forward to today. Today is motherfucking the 26th. It's round, I don't know what is this a bad luck number. Maybe I need to play these numbers in a lot uh in a lot of but around six something today, mind you, I have to be to work. I had to be to work tonight. This motherfucker, I'm asleep, I'm in my bed. I ain't heard from him, no nothing. I'm in my bed asleep, and when I'm asleep, I like to be comfortable. That means I take off everything and I get in my bed asleep. Everybody in the house, once again, in their rooms, locked up. My brother and his friend had left, they just ran to the store, and he must have forgot to lock the fucking door once again. I hear my kids saying, daddy, daddy. And I'm like, huh? Like, am I see I'm like, am I dreaming? I get up, this motherfucker standing over me while I'm naked laying in the bed. My kids jumping up for him like the babies because they don't know better because they babies. They jumping up for him. I'm like, yo, what the fuck you doing? My house? get out of my mind, you. I don't want him to see me naked. I don't want him to touch me. I don't want him to talk me. I want him nothing. Because of him, right now, my fucking phone is off. I, I phone with um, AT&T. And if y'all know AT&T, that shit is, that, that's one of the bills I put to the side. My AT&T bill, I put an extension on. And what it was, I think it was my light bill. My AT&T bill and my light bill are the two bills that I put an extension on. 
bro, I'm looking at him like, get the fuck out of my house. Oh, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. Get the fuck out of my house. Why do you keep, I just kept saying, why do you keep coming here? Why do you keep bothering me? Just leave me alone. I want to be left alone. Leave me alone. I'm sitting up here telling him, why are you in my house? Da -da -da -da. I'm yelling at my brother. Them. My, my brother wasn't even there. My kids was there and my kids' grandma so happened to be here this time. And I told her because I know they didn't believe me when I told them. He snuck past everybody to get in my room. He had to clutch those keys to drive off with my car. I told them that. And the fact that he snuck past her while she was there, because she was in the room. She probably was doing school online or some shit like that. The fact that she was there this time, I told her, I said, this is what he did last time. Came through the house. I told him, I say, bro, he was like, I need to take it. Why? She was like, why do you let him? Because I'm naked. I need for him to go on somewhere real quick so I can put on some clothes because I don't want him reminisce. I don't want to give him no idea that I still fuck with him like that. I'm butt ass naked. My son throw me a dress. I get up. Thankfully, the police was knocking at the door. By the time I did, he didn't, yo. Like, this nigga didn't took a shower in my house at all. And then, you know what he did? When he came in the house, he had a big-ass can of For Yo Loco. He set it on my dresser, bro. And it was half full. And I said, you still drinking. You still on drugs. Why won't you leave me alone? Just go away. Oh, I get mad. No, the fuck you don't. You don't get no mail here. You don't live here. I broke up with your ass a long time ago and you still keep coming back. I'm telling y'all, I don't know if the police or whoever is watching this video, get this man to leave me alone before it turned into something else. I've been crying out, telling people that this nigga been bothering me. He been fucking with me. So if anything happened to me, he did it. If anything happened to one of my kids, he did it. And you motherfuckers gave him the keys to come back in my house that day. Yo, I had called the police. He told the police, yeah, we broke up a long time ago. I'm getting my stuff. Mind you, he never had no stuff in the inside of my house. His shit was sitting on the back porch. Now, before the police had got in the house, he ran downstairs and tried to bring his shit in from the side door. And then he was like, oh, well, he have clothes. No, he don't, officer. He just pulled that off the back porch. He pulled that off the back porch. He don't live here. He don't get no mail here. He don't live here. Get him out of my house. I don't know what's wrong. I know I understand the police is going through a lot of pressure, a lot of heat because of all these killings and some of them just trying to keep their face clean. But I felt like this was the time for you to show the fuck out. This was the time for you to do what you needed to do. Do your motherfucking job. He was talking to the police like they wasn't shit. I said, sir, this man has a history of seeing and hearing things. He has a mental problem. So you you might be talking to somebody else and he'll swear you down, you laughing at him, you're talking shit to him. So he's gonna say, he was like, this nigga before he left, he made sure he, I bought another tool set, bitch. He went in my garage, he was trying to take my lawnmower with him. He was, I, the officer said, look, you want him out of your house? I'm looking at him like, no, but you're allowing him to steal from me. You're telling me that I need receipts for shit that I bought that's in my house. I have to take him to court and prove that he stole these things from me. Where the fuck is your antennas when we need you, police? Hi, hi, hi. What's the address, baby? What's your name? Have a blessed day. You too, babe. Okay, so what the fuck was you, like, where's your antennas when you need it? This man is disrespecting you, talking to y'all in the counter way, because he hearing shit. Then he's calling me all type of bitches and hoes, talking about I'm sleeping with his friend. Motherfucker, how am I sleeping with your friend, bitch? I don't even know this person. My kids call him, first of all, my kids forgot about his ass. My kids started calling him a whole nother name, because I told them, don't, this is not your fucking, don't call him daddy. You know what I'm saying? So they call him a whole nother name, and he was like, oh, that's my homeboy. You sleeping with my homeboy? Hold on, hold on. Hi, right, mama, I got you. I got you. Go ahead. Hey, mama, don't cut me, y'all. Told y'all, when I be at work, it don't be no more phone joke. Okay, so... Hold on, before I get back, you guys, let me go ahead and log in the last person that I was saying. And... 
Okay, so let me lock this person in. Hold on. Is going home to let me see her address. So let me Okay, so <clears throat> let me make sure I log in real quick. Still gotta be on the job, still gotta do my job. Man, <clears throat> so I'm just like to the point where I just had it. So I'm looking at the police officer like he's talking to you any kind of way. He's saying fucked up shit to me. I just want him gone. He had to realize that he wasn't gonna push no lawnmower down the street, so he wound up leaving the lawnmower. But he took tools from me. I don't know if you guys watched my video where I had bought some thrift, for, thrift store furniture um, for my room and I had repurposed it or whatever. I bought it so I could sand everything down again. This time I had bought a sanding machine because I wanted to make sure I do it perfect. You know what I'm saying? I know it looked good. Yes, it did look good because I fell in love with it, but I, I wanted to make sure it was perfect because this bed set got to last me a long time. So I bought it so I could sand down my bed and everything again. Girl, he took, this time I spent, I spent like $125 on some tools. He made sure he walked out with those. So I told the officer, I said, those are my tools. I said, I just bought those because he pawned or sold the other ones for drugs. I just bought, he was like, ma'am, you want him out of your house? Just take his ass to court and you can go ahead and um, prove, how am I prove that, bro? You in my house, you, I'm telling, I said, you know what? I just want him out. Get him the fuck out of my house. Then he's sitting there taking his time, oh, where my shoe at? Bro, the Harachis and everything I bought you, no one touched your stuff. No one touched nothing. You should have everything in that bag that you mysteriously dropped off on the back porch trying to make it seem like you still, I, I knew that was, that was what he was gonna do. I knew that's why that bag was there. I kept saying, why the fuck is this bag here? Why is this bag? I knew he was gonna try to creep that motherfucker bag in my house, y'all. I knew that shit, he was gonna try to pretend he lived there. But he told the police the truth. He told the police, I didn't stop fucking with him a long time ago. That's all they needed to hear. So the police was like, you know what? Next time when he come, we can slap him with a trespassing. Why you can't do that now? Why you can't do something about him being up in me? He broke in here, sir. No one opened the door for him. I'm telling you, he's an un... I just felt like the police, where's your antennas? What are you doing? Help me. I'm trying to tell y'all, if y'all don't get this man away from me, it's either something gonna happen to me or something is gonna happen to his ass. And you know who it's gonna be? It's gonna be the fucking police fault because the police is not doing a fucking job. I, I Listen... I know y'all saying, fuck all this right now. Think about what I'm going through. Think about what this guy is constantly doing to me. I don't need this in my life, causing me to miss work. I told him, you cannot be around me. I don't want you around me. I don't want you around my kids. You're not good for nobody but yourself. I told his ass that you was insane. You and he belongs in a psych ward. Something is wrong with him. This nigga hacked my YouTube, where I couldn't get on YouTube for a very long time. He had my Gmail. He stole that day when his sister came to get him out of my house before all this. He took shit out of my bag. I couldn't figure, I couldn't put my hand on what it was because when I went in my bathroom, my Louis Vuitton book was sitting here and then other shit was missing. I'm like, yo, I can't put my finger on exactly what he took, but he took something out of my bag and I made sure I texted his sister and let her know that. I don't know if his sister thought I was still talking to his ugly ass, but she was like, um, why are you still talking? First of all, I'm not talking to him. I'm not talking to your ugly ass brother. I want him to leave me alone, bitch. That's how I feel at this moment. Like, come get this motherfucker before he wind up. I know they say, watch what you say, but where, where, where y'all at helping me out? Where y'all at helping me out? Someone is going to wind up hurt bad. I know I have to watch my choice of words, but if you ain't fucking trying to help me out, what am I supposed to do? I'm not finna wait for when me and one of my kids become a victim. I'm not finna wait for that. I'm not finna do that. I called y'all too many times and, and, and this shit y'all pulling with me, I, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. Cause when that time come, 
Remember, I'm only thinking of me and my children's safety. And I do anything to protect me and my children. And I'm pretty sure everybody on here know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, you guys, but the police did get him on before he left my front yard because he realized he couldn't carry that damn bag of clothes. He had got somebody to drop off in my backyard. He wind up throwing all his shit that was in the bag all over my um, driveway. So just imagine living in an upscale neighborhood. You got police around your house and then you got all this trash. His clothes thrown all around your front yard, across the tree, across cars and shit. That's real ghetto. That's real ghetto. And then I'm looking at the police like, you're not going to make him pick that up? He was like, oh, yeah, I told him that um, by him leaving it there, that means you have every right to put that shit in the trash. So now I have to go out my way. Me and my kids, after he destroyed my yard, I have to go outside and clean up behind him. And then you motherfucking police officers are going to look at my kids and say, oh, you hope they find a dollar or two for picking up all the bullshit? He just, really, bitch? Really? 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 You know what, you guys? I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Long story short, that's what I had to go through today. Um, this should be dropping tomorrow on the 27th of motherfucking what we in, August. You guys, I pray this guy don't come back. I pray he don't bother me. I pray he don't nothing. Okay? I pray he stay his ass where he at because next time that ice water ain't going to be what it is. That me hitting the boom the stick on the floor ain't gonna be what it is that me trying to scratch across that motherfucker face and stretch his face it ain't gonna be that it's gonna be something real bad uh anyways please like love subscribe and hit that bell button that show your girl you rock you with me you feel me and if you ever been through some crazy shit like this leave your comments down below tell me what did you do because right now like i said i still have two car permits to pay off on the 15th of next month and October, October, we in August, on the 15th, okay, yeah, I got two more months, two more payments on the 15th and I'm done, okay? So, anyways, again, please like, love, subscribe, hit that bell button and leave your comments down below. I love you guys. Bye.